peace, infinite waters, diving deep once again. Things mentally strong people don't do. That feels good. I just had to do that. People ask how to live in an insensitive world. People just go by you. Do you know who I am? People put on a miserable face. People are rushing around like cockroaches when you prefer squirrels. People are heartless. But that's not everyone because there are good people out there. You just haven't met them yet. I see it like this. The world is very simple. We make it complicated because we obviously like doing things twice. We always want the longer route. We are the only species that has to pay to live. And in becoming mentally stronger, what I've realized is that, wait a minute, being free is my birthright. Therefore, I have a mission to fulfill. And that is living in pure abundance. That is my daily mantra. And that is what I receive every single day. It's beautiful. Thank you, universe. Number one is don't follow the herd. As long as we follow the crowd, we can't go past the crowd. And the universe reveals its secrets to those who dare to follow their hearts. What's helped me along my journey is that there was a time where I was pondering the meaning of life like we all do. You should anyway. It's a great question to ask. What the hell am I doing here? Hey, I just landed here. I just popped out. Becoming mentally stronger, I was in a place where the only option I thought I had was to go along to get along with friends, doing what they thought was best, doing what friends and family thought was best. At one stage, my mum wanted me to be a banker and I was doing psychologies. So why didn't she want me to be a psychologist? follow the money, hey? I saw that I only have one life to live. And therefore, it's all about tapping into my true authenticity while I'm here. I have to wake up, I have to smile, I have to be thankful that we have such a beautiful universe. So I don't wanna subject myself to slavery because most of us are in this matrix because we are afraid to be alone. And I've just seen the beauty of walking through the wilderness. Take some water with you, for goodness sakes, it's hot out there. But we discover our greatest secrets when we have the courage to follow our heart's desires. Number two is don't externalize your power. It's so easy to worship someone outside of yourself. And I had the massive realization that we are made from the same fabric as the universe. So I am what I seek. And you take back all your power. We are not victims of circumstance. If you're in a relationship, be thankful. But if you're not in a relationship, that's okay. Becoming mentally strong is seeing that the true happiness lies within yourself right now. And that everything is changing. We are living in a transient universe. That's why recently I've just been giving my clothes away. In fact, you can take this if you want afterwards. Be friendly. All the power is within you. We have to start honoring people by connecting with those who remind us who we are. That way we can see that we are all having a unique experience on planet Earth. We have to honor our uniqueness instead of competing with one another. That is how we become mentally stronger. It's where you can be happy for someone else's success. You are not in fear because no one is like you in the universe. Number three is they don't feel sorry for themselves. Along my journey, there was a time where I felt the world owed me everything. 
Then I realized there is duality. There is positive, there is negative. There is yin, there is yang. And this whole life is full of contrast. And a greater awareness came when I realized that we discover ourselves through contrast. Therefore, be thankful for everyone who has come into your life because they have helped create you. The good friends, the bad friends, the other people down the road. <laughs> it's all art. It's all how life was designed to help us elevate. Number four is that they don't play it small. A lot of us feel we are doing the world a service by being humble and being meek. No, we do the world a service once we express ourselves 100%, which comes through 100% self-acceptance and self-love. Many of us feel our voice is not needed. However, I realize a secret. The true value is not in the words you have to say, but in the energy you embody. And because you are unique, you have a unique energetic signature. The more you can tap into it and put value on it, you become mentally stronger because you say, hey, I have value. And that's when you start to fly. Number five is that they don't feel they have to please everyone because that's a long, painful, tiring task. Who wants to do that? Well, it seems there are a lot of people with their hand up. Why? What's helped me along my journey is knowing that when you start speaking from your true authenticity, there is always going to be resistance, but it feels better. What I talk about isn't popular. I don't care because it feels good. And just when other people resonate with the information, I love it because it's not about me. It's about making the world a better place. That could be an acceptance speech. <laughs> I haven't won any awards yet, but I have my own prize. Thank you. Okay, once we see the secret that everyone is going to have an opinion of us, then we can focus on what we love to do because it doesn't matter. Whatever we do, it won't resonate because that's how it's designed. We're living in a world based on resonance, based on energy, based on frequency. Ask Nikola Tesla. It's all written down. In ancient Kemet, Egypt, they talked of the divine sciences, but we are the cosmic scientists. And once we start to know, because science comes from the Latin sire, which means to know, once you know thyself, now you realize you don't have to please everyone. And that way you become mentally stronger. Because you say, even if I make a mistake, it doesn't matter. Even if I fail, it doesn't matter. Because guess what? It's all part of my unique expression. I see that we're living in a fantastic time on the planet. But it's not about just love and light. It's about seeing that we're living in a universe filled with dark matter. And once you also embrace the darkness, now you transcend the duality. And that is how to become mentally strong. Once you put the ego in the back seat, because it's been driving around for a long time, taking us in the wrong direction. And once we put the heart in the driving seat and the ego in the back, now we have that coherency between the body, heart and mind. We are here having fun with a beautiful background, infinite waters, diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy.